Now that we don't have any tourists in the Faroe Islands, we have a lot of extra time on our hands. So we thought that we would give those of you who couldn't visit as planned and everyone else a chance to visit the Faroe Islands through us. We will be fitted with a camera and give everyone access to control us using their mobile phone. When you press forward, we move forward. When you press left, we turn left. And when you press jump, well, we jump. Each trip will begin in a new location. And as a virtual tourist, you can ride, sail, and even control a helicopter. So you can literally sit at home and control a helicopter in the Faroe Islands. Where we end up is up to you, as long as you keep us out of harm's way. Hi, I'm Eddie O'Bang. A few years ago, BC, before COVID, we all wanted to transform. We wanted to transform work, our workplace and our workforce. We wanted to transform our cultures to be more innovative, agile and collaborative. And we wanted digital transformation. And we all know that each of those is great on its own, but together that's where the power is. So we created Cube to allow you to do that and to guarantee success. Since COVID, people have discovered that even without transformation, it's quite difficult to maintain the social inclusion and fabric of the organization, to make people productive and to feel like part of something very real as you collaborate. Cube can help us with this because of the way it's designed as a super real environment. Now meet your Cubot. On Cube, your Cubot does everything you want it to. If you ask it to turn, it'll turn. If you ask it to walk forward, it'll walk forward. If you ask it to jump, guess what? It'll jump, it jumps and jumps. I'm going to show you around one of our campuses. Uh, we took inspiration from the BBC. They had a competition where on a particular day, everyone would send photographs uh, from around the world. So what we've done is opened up a number of different cubicles. Like you can see people having coffee together. Uh, and and that allows you to get a sense of the fact that it, it's a, an environment where activities happen, which are also social serendipity, the things we want. And you can hear the buzz in the background. Um, and at the same time, somewhere else on the campus, there's a group of people having a drumbeat session. And you can see them, they're working on hopes and fears. Hopes and fears is one of the people engagement tools we use, which lets everyone be clear on what's going on. To the left, you can see that something called an action replay. They've obviously been reviewing things, but there are three or four people there. Great conversation, making real progress. So elsewhere on the campus, what else might be happening? So it looks as, as if, and I think this is a workshop happening in one of the big workshop rooms. Ah, it's a workshop, but somebody's giving like a presentation, like the big slideshow on the on the wall. But you can see on the walls, the white walls where people have been working. And this is probably a second, yeah, this is a second workshop. But over here, they're working, and look, they're at the far end, different people, they're networking, they're chatting, they're buzz, they're understanding what's going on. So you can again get the sense that in this single campus, multiple things are happening, which are all useful to people but all in different places so if we step out of there another area which would be quite interesting is uh, to look at how we bring people together so for example with this particular client on that particular day they were working uh, on an exhibition which they put together as you know with all the um, challenges we've had um, with social distancing remote working it's so important to get social Inclusion, right? So important for the introverts to feel part of it. And you can see these people using the exhibition to bring what's happening, but also providing a really human space where people can bump into each other and chat and talk and learn. And the organization culture can come to life through that exhibition. So that's a really crucial part of it as well. So it gives you a sense just on that campus, that single campus, you can have multiple things happening. And we found that's the best way to explain super reality and people actually being able to deliver on Cube. Now you've seen what happens on a Cube campus in our super real world. Join us, get your own campus, and we'll guide you in this new way of working and in this new world. QUBE.cc. See you soon.